This is your 3-minute radiation fallout forecast for Thursday, March 22, 2012. In Canada, CRWS jet stream analysis shows its position continues across the southern provinces. Current rainfall extends from Lake Superior through Sudbury and North Bay, slowly moving eastward. This area would be the highest concern for possible fallout over the next 36 to 48 hours. In the U.S., the recent spikes seen on EPA RADNET could not be reevaluated as the data is not being exported for the following states Massachusetts, Michigan, Maine, Minnesota, Missouri, Mississippi, North Carolina, North Dakota, Nebraska, New Mexico, Nevada, New York, Ohio, Oklahoma, and Oregon at this time. Current rain and jet stream overlay shows the highest potential for fallout to be from San Francisco up through the U.S.-Canadian border, northern Idaho, and western Montana. The large storm system in the central and southern states is drawing moisture from the Gulf, which is not usually an indicator of fallout potential. However, without the monitors working properly, it is impossible to assess, and therefore all precipitation should be considered suspect. In the event that your skin and clothes may have contamination, remove outerwear and especially shoes before entering the house. A shower with baking soda mixed with soap is all that is needed to decontaminate skin. Keep this in mind for pets as well. In Europe, jet stream overlay from El Dorado weather and current precipitation forecast from USA Today Europe shows the areas with highest fallout potential to be southern Spain, western France, Scandinavia, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Belarus, and the Ukraine. It appears the UK will have a reprieve. Nuke Report Kiwani Power Reactor in Wisconsin was found to have the potential for a water service piping problem during a seismic event. The event report states that this significantly degrades plant safety. Resources used in today's forecast include the previously mentioned online weather sites as well as IntelliCast, NOAA, HPC Quantitative Forecasts, the global jet stream wind from StormSurf and NexRed at the College of DuPage. Links to many of these pages can be found at FukushimaFacts.com. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.